Hi there, my name is Ingrid Scully. I'm the elementary vice chair for OCTI, and I'm also an educator um, in the Halton District School Board. So today I'm gonna go through um, the activities that were created for the elementary side of our curriculum consortium. So we have created eight documents. Um, you'll notice that we have um, documents for uh, two grade four strands. We have a grade five, we have a grade six, we have two grade seven strands covered, and we have two grade eight. Each strand or document um, includes three developed lesson plans or activities that are scaffolded in terms of the level of inquiry and level of technological problem solving. So what does that mean? Um, the first activity in each of the documents um, is called Development of Curiosity and Wonder. So this is sort of like a minds on sort of hook um, activity that um, gets students interested in the, uh, the unit. The second activity is structured to develop technological problem solving skills. And the third activity is guided development of technological problem solving skills. And it's usually a little bit more open ended for students and a little bit um, longer in length to uh, complete. Each activity, so we have three activities for each of the documents. Um, they focus on technological problem solving skills and connects to the technological problem solving continuum. So each and every single activity in the document uh, focuses on hands on learning and really relates back to that uh, continuum down in our document. It also includes background information for the educator, including vocabulary and content knowledge includes learning goals, the expectations relating to science and technology, equipment and materials. So we made sure that any of the equipment and materials could be sourced at home. So these documents were created under the pretense that they were going to be used for online learning. Um, so all of the materials and equipment students should be able to find at home. And it provides um, a plethora of options for people. So for instance, if a student couldn't find string, um, you could easily use a shoelace instead. Um, with that being said, in terms of the online, uh, these activities can easily be adapted back into a classroom setting. Each activity also includes the personal protective equipment that is needed. So if a student needs to wear goggles, um, we know that students maybe not have goggles, so maybe putting a pair of sunglasses on um, but it is detailed what they should be using and any safety considerations when doing the activities. Step-by-step -step instructions of what the teacher does versus what the students do. Opportunities for assessment. Cross-curricular links and expectations. So we've got some links to language, um, math, geography, etc. And I don't know if you can see the last little bullet point at the bottom here, but we've also included any references um, that we found necessary. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to walk you through where to find these activities um, on our website. So if you go to our website, octi.ca, you're going to be brought to our home screen, which looks like this. So there's a couple, way of, um, couples, a couple of ways of accessing these documents. So from our home screen, all you can do is scroll down, and under Octi Resources, it's right there for us. So we click on that. And we're going to be taken to the, the page where all of the documents were created for the various um, sections. And we're going to click on elementary. And then we've got a link to our documents. Before I click on one of our documents, I'm going to also show you a little bit of other resources that we have on our website in terms of elementary. So we have another way of getting to our online documents. We go to resources from our home page and you click on elementary we have specifically some stem and makerspace activities from robotics but if you scroll down to the bottom there's the online learning portion um, that's going to take you back to this page right here other resources that we also have for elementary if you click on the elementary tab Go down to the bottom where it says click here to browse elementary resources. We have a whole bunch of uh, tried and true um, activities listed as well. 
and we are in the process of um, translating all of the documents into um, French. So some of our online material has already been translated um, and we should be able to get that through the, um, the panel as well. So I'm going to, oh, here we are, French uh, language resources. So they're in the process, they're not all done, um, but they are in the process of um, being translated. So each of these documents are at least 30 pages long because they also include appendices um, and so forth. So I've already loaded the grade five um, document. So this is what it looks like. This one's 47 pages. I think the longest one, we have a grade seven one that's over 70 pages. So as you can see, it starts off with the activity one and the development of curiosity and wonder. It includes the vocabulary and any content that teachers might need to, to know. Um, some of the content things um, include um, YouTube videos for uh, teachers to, to watch or um, extra references that teachers can um, go to to learn about the content um, that this activity is going to include. We've got our learning goals. We have the overall and specific expectations that relate to science and technology. Any equipment and materials that are gonna be required, any PPE that's gonna be required, safety considerations. And with the safety considerations and PPE and the equipment and materials, we have not um, provided teachers with activities that students are gonna to need to have anything more than scissors and a glue gun. So we're not asking for um, students to be using um, hammers or hand drills or anything like that without being supervised uh, properly. So again, don't be too, uh, too um, worried that these are gonna be out of any student's scopes to be able to complete at home. There's a column for what the teacher does. Um, so it goes through the entire lesson um, with sample accommodations and trouble tr sample troubleshooting if you run into a problem. And then it has a section column for what the students does. And these um, are directly organized in um, the categories of the technological problem solving skills continuum. So it breaks it down. So what do they have to do for initiating and planning, performing and recording, analyzing, interpreting and communicating. All of the activities don't necessarily have each and every single category of the continuum. If it didn't fit, um, it didn't have, if we didn't put it in. Um, but I think the majority of them actually have each of the four different categories. Included are as opportunities for assessment and any organizers or whatnot. And then we have some cross curricular opportunities. So you can see that this document includes um, language reference or language expectations. And then we have any references um, that are applicable. After that, we have all the appendices for the activity. So you can see that there's usually typically um, sort of minds on activities, graphic organizers, um, reflection questions um, included in all of the appendices. So everything that the teacher needs to have for that lesson have been included in these appendices. You'll notice that some of the activities are um, something that maybe you've seen before and there have been modified a little bit. Um, and some of these are completely original um, based upon our writers. So again, everything that the teacher needs to be able to complete the lesson are included in these PDFs. So I'm just gonna quickly go through, this is the second activity that focuses on structure to develop technological problem solving skills. We've got our content knowledge again for teachers, our learning goals, expectations, and so forth. So again, each activity is laid out that way, um, which makes it easier um, for teachers to follow. And teachers can either scale back the activities or they can do the entire activity um, if they want to. So that is what we have for the online learning portion for the elementary curriculum consortium. I think now we're gonna have some questions.